Imagine going to the doctor on January 1st. Maybe you partied a bit too hard on New Year's Eve and paying just $20 for that visit. Imagine if your health insurance plan started sharing the cost of your medical bills immediately instead of you having to shell out a thousand, two thousand, or probably even more of your own money first. And that's what we'll be talking about today. No deductible health insurance, sometimes also referred to as zero deductible health insurance. What is a no deductible health insurance and why isn't everyone racing out to buy it if there's no deductible? What are the two questions to ask yourself to figure out if you should get no deductible health insurance? And how much does a no deductible health insurance plan cost? We're going to answer all of this for you in today's video. For our loyal subscribers and viewers, welcome back. We love you guys. And for those of you new to Diamondestic, welcome to the number one place to learn about money, insurance, and retirement. I'm Jennifer, first generation American. I spent most of my life in finance. Started working at banks like JP Morgan and Goldman Sachs at the age of 17 and graduated top of my class from NYU and Harvard Business School. And now I work on all things money with business owners as well as young professionals at places like Bloomberg, WeWork, and Marsh McLennan. So health insurance deductibles. The deductible refers to how much you have to pay out of pocket for your medical bills, meaning with your own money, before your health insurance kicks in its share and starts paying some portion of them as well. My health insurance deductible is $2,800 for the year. This means that I had to spend $2,800 on my healthcare costs. All of it was my own money before my insurance company started paying for anything. A no deductible health insurance plan has a deductible of $0, meaning the health insurance company starts sharing the cost of your medical bills with you immediately from day one when your coverage starts. So what's the catch? Why are no deductible health insurance plans all the rage? As my husband always says, if it sounds too good to be true, it probably is too good to be true. Here are three things you should know about when it comes to how a no deductible health insurance policy works. First, no deductible health insurance plans have higher premiums. The premium is what your monthly cost of insurance is the amount you pay to your health insurance carrier for providing you with health insurance coverage. Here's a comparison of two health plans that we were reviewing for a client in Los Angeles. As you can see, the health plan that has no deductible costs 90 plus dollars more per month than the one that does have a deductible. So $1,100 more on an annual basis. As a general rule of thumb, the lower the deductible, the higher the monthly premium and the higher the deductible, the lower the monthly premium. The second thing you need to know about no deductible health plans is this. You're still responsible for co-pays and co-insurance from the very beginning. Co-pays and co-insurance refer to the portion that you have to pay for each medical visit or service, typically after you've met the deductible, if you're on a health plan that has a deductible that needs to be met. If you find a no deductible health plan that's priced below your wildest dreams, make sure to check the co-pays or the co-insurance. These may be disproportionately high, as well as check the number of in-network providers. This may be disproportionately low. Also keep in mind that with no deductible health plans, you still have an out-of-pocket maximum, like you do with normal health plans. The out-of-pocket maximum is the most that you would pay in any given year for deductibles, co-pays, and co-insurance. It does not include premiums, though. The third thing you need to know about no deductible health plans is their policy exclusions, meaning what isn't covered, and are you 100% responsible for out-of-network services? I say this over and over again. When it comes to your health and your wealth, always read the fine print twice if you have to, so you don't end up paying more than you expect. Guys, if you're enjoying this video so far, please give that thumbs up and subscribe a gentle tap. This tells me the videos you like on this channel, the videos you don't, and what we should keep making more of so that you can stretch every hard earned dollar as far as possible. 
So how do you know if a no deductible health plan is right for you? Well, these two questions will help you figure this out a bit. Question one, are you generally healthy? If you're young and healthy, if you go to the doctor only a few times a year, if you don't have any chronic illnesses, you'll typically be better off with a health plan that does have some sort of a deductible, but lower monthly premiums. And if you're young, healthy, with no chronic illness and medication requirements, and you have an emergency savings fund, you might even consider a high deductible health plan, HDHP. Over here is our HHP versus PPO video, which will walk you through the pros and cons of an HHP versus PPO, as well as the six questions you should ask yourself to figure out which one might be better suited for you. Question two, are you expecting high medical expenses in the coming year? If you're penciling in a major surgery or have reason to think that your healthcare costs will go up significantly, then a no deductible health plan might be the way to go. Having said that, everyone's financial journey is different and there's no one size fits all answer here. If you need help looking for the right plan for you and your family, or if you have any questions at all about health insurance, life insurance, disability insurance, or anything money, drop us a note at jennifer at diamondnestic.com. Now, let's do a quick comparison here of a no deductible health plan versus an HDHP to show you exactly what we mean and how your healthiness plays into this decision. According to Value Penguin, the average cost of a no deductible health plan in 2021 is about 7,800 per year or 650 per month. And the average cost of an HDHP is about $4,970 per year or about $414 per month. Let's start with a healthy person first and assume that it's you. You rarely get sick and at a maximum you go to the doctor say four times a year for the odd whatever it might be. Under the HHP, you'd pay your annual premium of $4,970 for the year plus $400 for the four doctor's visits. So $100 per visit. This $400 goes fully towards your deductible. You pay zero copay, zero coinsurance, because with an HDHP, this usually only kicks in after your deductible has been met. So your total cost for the year under an HDHP would be the annual premium plus the $400 you paid for your doctor's visits for a total of $5,370. Compare this to a no deductible health plan. You'd pay your annual premium of $7,800, zero towards the deductible because there's no deductible, and you'd pay a copay of $100 for your four doctor's visits together. We've assumed a $25 copay per visit times four visits. Unlike with an HHP, your copay kicks in right away with a no deductible health plan. This brings your total cost under a no deductible health plan to $7,900. That's $2,530 more under a no deductible health plan. And if all these terms, premium, deductible, copay, and coinsurance still have you more than a little bit confused, then you should look at this video here on the three stages of health insurance costs. When do you pay? When do both you and the insurance company pay? And when does just the insurance company pay? Understanding how these different pieces work together will help you lower your overall healthcare costs in the long run. And not understanding them could be very costly for you. Now, the numbers we just showed compared a high deductible versus no deductible health plan for a relatively healthy person. These numbers can look very different if you're not healthy or if you expect significant medical care or surgery in the coming year. Let's take me as an example now. Not that I'm queen of unhealthy, but we need a guinea pig. Say that I'm sick of going to physical therapy every week for the knee issues from my not so mini ski accident from earlier this year. So I'm planning on getting ACL surgery next year. And let's further assume that this surgery will cost me $20,000. In this case, under the HGHP, I'd still have my annual premium of $4,970. Then I'd have to meet my HGHP deductible of $5,600. This means the first $5,600 of my $20,000 ACL surgery, I'd have to pay for myself out of pocket, which leaves another $14,400 of medical expenses that needs to be covered for the ACL operation. 
my coinsurance after my deductible is 20%. So I'd have to pay 20% of this $14,400 or $2,880, bringing my total cost for the ACL surgery under the HHP to $13,450. Now, let's see how much the same ACL surgery would cost me under a no deductible health plan. My annual premium is $7,800. I have zero deductible. And like with the HDHP, my coinsurance is 20%. So 20% of the $20,000 ACL surgery means I have to pay coinsurance of $4,000, giving me total costs under a no deductible health plan of $11,800, a $1,650 savings over the HDHP in this case. As you can see from these examples, in general, a no deductible health plan is best suited for those expecting high medical expenses or major surgeries over the policy year. You should nonetheless run the numbers for your specific situation. And if you need help running those numbers or figuring out your insurance situation, whether that's health, life, or disability, get in touch at Jennifer at diamondnestic.com. Thanks for watching guys. We hope you enjoyed this video and are a bit more health insurance wise now. And don't forget that thumbs up and subscribe if you stayed until the end. See you again next week with another money saving wealth building video.